Hi, my name is Amy Barrett Daffin, and I'm here to talk to you about 101 delightful iron on quilt labels. You can customize and embellish them with stitching, with coloring, or with paint. So let me go ahead and show you how it works, and then I'll show you a couple of the samples that I made up. So I'm going to use this piece of denim, and I'm just going to press it a little flat. I've been uh, recycling my husband's old jeans and using them for quilt labels. So let me just pick one out really quickly here. Um, oh, I love this little dog. He reminds me of my son's lab, Arlo. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. So then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and lay this down like that. Do I wanna do it that way? Oh, nope, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna do it right in the middle, right like that. And then I'm gonna take my iron and I'm just gonna set it on top. I'm not gonna move around, I'm just gonna hold it there. And then I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna do it again. And I'm just I'm not really using any pressure, I'm just holding it in place. And then I wanna keep the paper in place. And on a mat like this, you could use pins if you want. I just use my hands. And so I'm gonna pick it up one more time. I'm gonna check what the transfer looks like. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go back here one more time. And do we have the cute little dog face? We do. All right. So there's the transfer. And you can see, even on denim, it shows up pretty well. And one of the things I like about the denim, and I'll show you with this example, is I just used fabric marker. And I was wondering if on the denim, um, how these different colors would show up. And they really came out great and so I put together I just colored in the chairs I drew some little lines on um, the trailer because it reminded me of what the trailers looked like when I was a kid which was a long time ago and these folding chairs definitely look like what they did when I was a kid so then what else can you do with them so there's that example and then I've really been into embroidery so I took a little piece of this blue um, oak shot cotton fabric it's got a really nice linen texture and I just went around and used a couple different colors of embroidery there of embroidery floss and then I would hand write in what the label was and then here I did the same thing so I just made a cute little label using the mushroom pattern and I covered over everything with my stitching and you don't have to like you could leave the words just as they are and ink over them and then put the two in the from but I just decided to give it a try and stitch and I realized a regular French knot, not a good idea. Itty bitty stitch, much better idea. The last thing I wanna show you, and this is my pro tip for using the iron-on labels, because you can use these multiple times, you can, on either the inside or the inside back cover, I always take a six by nine inch envelope, I fold that back like that, and then I just stick it in here. And that way I have a little pocket for my label. So once I'm done making a label, I can just slide it right in. So I just open that up, I slide it in, and all my labels stay put. It's ready to go back on the shelf for the next time I need to use it, which is pretty frequently with the number of projects I've been making lately. So once again, the 101 plus delightful iron-on quilt labels and uh, have fun with them. They're darling patterns. Um, we'll show you some more of the patterns here. And then just know the words will always be reversed so it's easy to transfer and there's gnomes and all sorts of cute things and all different holidays of the year too. So there's Christmas, there's Easter, other uh, stuff for weddings. It's just, it's really adorable. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.